This is part three of my video series on mold making and resin casting. In the last step we set up our mold and since then I've, I've added a few layers to the box so that it's going to have an enclosure for the mold rubber to, uh, to sit in. So once you open up um, your box of supplies in the, in the kit in the previous videos I showed, um, what you're going to want to get out is uh, this mold release agent. Now this is what I've already done but you take this and you just spray it over top of your mold and that's going to let um, it's going to be much easier to remove the mold rubber from uh, from the mold itself when it comes time to remove it so once that's layered it's, uh, it recommends waiting about 10 or 15 minutes just for um, I think the liquid part of it to uh, to evaporate and then you're going to be left with uh, well, only the mold release so the other two things we're going to use are mold rubber it's two parts, there's a pink part and a blue part uh, we want to do this one to one ratio and I've got a separate mixing cup that I'm going to pour them in so all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour them into the same cup mix them all together so it's a a very even purple color and then I'm going to start pouring it into one corner of the mold and only pour it there nice and slowly and it's going to roll over top of all the detail so I'm going to take equal parts And what I like to do is um, I like to pour the, the more liquidier one, which is the blue one, into the pink one. Because it's going to be easier to get it all out. You're going to want some kind of very firm stirring stick for this section. This is also very messy, so you want to make sure you have some paper towels standing by and a garbage container so you can put the leftover cups in the garbage. So right now I'm just going to mix it, scraping along the edges. And after my initial mix, once I've got a, a decent mix, what I like to do is I like to pour it into the next container so that any any parts that are sitting on the side of the walls are going to be a lot more evenly added to the mixture and they're not going to just stay stuck to the walls. So it becomes a very sort of sticky goo consistency. So I've got the most, most of it out of there, I'm not going to waste too much time getting it all out. And then I'm going to continue stirring it and get a nice even color. You also want to try and reduce the amount of uh, bubbles that form inside it, that's why we, we do a pour from the corner. So I've got a pretty good consistency, but I want to make sure that it's as, as good as I can get it. You can see there's some bubbles forming already inside it. We want to minimize those if we can. So I'm just going to break up some of the bubbles on the top. So I'm going to start and pour it into one corner as slow as I can. There's a lot of air bubbles in here, so I'm going to try and see if I can't reduce those. So the, the thinner your pour, the air bubbles should break up.
Sorry for the shaky cam, I'm just holding this as I eyeball it on the side. 